Hello once again! So I am Teacher V! Welcome back here on my channel! Ang lesson natin today ay para sa mga grade 10 students namin. It's about illustrating combinations of objects. Nasa week 3 na tayo, quarter 3. And once again, I am Teacher V. At ako ang magiging katulong ninyo para mas lalo niyong maintindihan at mahalin ang mathematics. Okay, so last week, pinag-usapan natin yung tungkol sa permutations. So ngayon naman, pupunta tayo sa another topic and it's about combination. Alright, so the learning competency that we have today is to illustrate the combination of objects. So ito yung matututunan natin sa video lesson natin this day. Bago yun, syempre, alamin muna natin kung ano nga ba yung combination sa mathematics. Uh, malamang, iisipin niyo pag sinabing combination is yung pagsasama-sama or kinukombine natin yung mga objects. Well, tama naman kayo. Ganun talaga ang ibig sabihin natin sa mathematics. So, tignan natin. When we say combination, it is a mathematical technique that determines the number of possible arrangements in a collection of items where the order of the selection does not matter. Okay, so, nagko-combine or arrangement. Pero, ang order dito doesn't matter. So, ang pinagkaiba ng combination sa permutation? E di ba, ang permutation, arrangement din ng objects. Pagkatapos, dito ma'am, sinasabi mo, combination, arrangement din ng objects. Okay, matatandaan na sa permutations, mahalaga yung order. Okay? Pero dito, sa combination, hindi mahalaga yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng objects natin dito or yung arrangement ng mga objects natin dito. Okay? So, parang ang gulo pa rin, ma'am. Okay, sige, tignan natin. Magbigay tayo ng mga uh, situations na magpapakita ng combinations wherein yung order doesn't matter and at the same time, yung permutations na kailangan ng order. Okay, so, draw a smiley face if order is important and a sad face if order is not important in the task. So, tignan natin. Number one, choosing five questions to answer out of ten questions in a test. What do you think? Kailangan ba ng order dito? Mahalaga ba yung order dito? Pipili ka lang daw ng five questions out of ten questions. So, tama kayo. Order is not important dito. Kasi pwede ka naman pumi... Wala namang sinabi na kailangan yung 1 to 5 lang ang pipiliin mo. Basta ang sinabi, 5 questions yung kukunin mo out of 10. Okay? So, order here is not important. How about sa number 2? Opening a combination lock. Sabihin nyo, a combination na word, ma'am. So, ibig sabihin, order is not important. So, ganun ba yun? Okay. I-imagine natin, pagka... Nagbubukas pa tayo ng lock, lalo na yung may mga combination na lock. Mahalaga ba yung order doon? Mahalaga, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, itong number 2 natin, order is important. Kasi hindi mo naman mabubuksan yung lock kung hindi mo makuha yung tamang order ng combination. Di ba? Ng arrangement ng mga numbers. If in case, yung lock mo is yung may mga numbers, numbers, or number combination. So, ibig sabihin, so number 2, Order is important. So, ito nga ay example ng tinatawag natin permutation. How about winning in a contest? Yung order ba rito is important or not? Okay. Winning eh. So, ibig sabihin sa panalo, kung mananalo ka sa isang contest, hindi naman pwedeng kahit sino na lang or lahat ng sumali ay panalo na. So, mahalaga yung order lalo na kung first, second, and third. Diba? Hindi naman pwedeng sabihin na yung third yun yung magiging, uh, yun na rin yung first. Okay? So, order is important here in a contest. So, that is why smiley face. Okay? Order is important. How about number four? Selecting seven people to form a student affairs committee. So, pipili ka lang ng pitong tao. So, obviously, this is Sad face kasi order is not important. Okay? Kasi pili ka lang naman. So kahit sino naman, pwede mo nang piliin. Pero kung selecting seven people to form vice secretary and president, so tatlong 
uh, specific position yung kukunin. So, doon kailangan ng order. How about number five? Forming triangles from six distinct points in which no three points are collinear. collinear. So, forming triangles from the six distinct points. So, what do you think? Order is important or not? Okay, so order is also not important. Kasi ini bubuo ka lang naman ng triangles. Okay, sa pagbuo ng triangles, so wala naman uh, instruction dito or hindi naman na necessary na kailangan magkakatabi yung mga triangles na mabubuo mo. Okay, so nakikita ninyo na ito yung pagkakaiba ng permutation and combination. Sa permutation, mahalaga yung order. Okay? Kinoconsider yung order. Pero dito kasi, kahit ano, po pwede. Okay? Kahit anong combination, po pwede. Okay? Ayan. So, the number of combinations of n objects taken r at the time is denoted by this. So, ito yung mga symbol na ginagamit natin. So, ang basa natin dyan is Combination of n objects taken r at a time. So, n, ayan siya. The formula natin is n factorial over r factorial times the difference of n and r factorial. So, anong pinagkaiba ng combination sa permutation? Sa combination, may nadagdag lang na r factorial. Eh, pero, almost the same pa rin sila. At make sure na mas malaki yung ating n. Pwedeng yung n natin ay equal sa r, pero hindi po pwedeng mas malaki yung r sa n. And uh, dapat naman, yung r naman natin ay mas malaki sa 0. Ibig sabihin, hindi pwedeng negative yung ating r. Next, let's have our example, illustrating combination. So, suppose you are to buy three fruits as an ingredient for your fruit salad. In how many possible combinations of fruits can you mix in your salad if you are to choose from apple, pineapple, cherry, papaya, and banana? Okay. So, kailangan mo bumili ng tatlong prutas para sa fruit salad mo. At ang option mo na pagtitilian ay ilan? Ilang uh, fruits? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, 5 fruits yung pagtitilian mo. Pero ang kailangan mo lang kunin is 3 fruits. So, therefore, ano yung n natin? So, yung n natin is the total uh, elements or total objects natin. And that is 5 kasi apple, pineapple, cherry, papaya, and banana. At yung objects na pipiliin natin ay tatlo. So, that is why we have r. r is equal to 3. At yung n and r ay substitute natin sa ating formula. Okay, so that is why we have 5 factorial. So 5, ito yung n natin. Then over 3 factorial dahil sa r. And then, difference of 5 and 3 factorial. Unahin natin yung may parenthesis. So 5 minus 3 is 2. So that's why we have 5 factorial over 3 factorial and 2 factorial. Okay, so 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, ayan yung 5 factorial. Then, over. So, ito yung 3 factorial natin. So, we have 3 times 2 times 1. And ito naman yung 2 factorial, 2 times 1. So, pwede, uh, i-cancel na natin yung 3 times 2 times 1. Ganyan din dito. Kasi, uh, parehas naman sila, di ba? We can say this as equal to 1. Para mas mapadali na yung pagkukumpute natin. Then, multiply, mga natira, 5 times 4 is 20, then 2 times 1 is 2. And then, simplify, 20 divided by 2, the answer is 10. So, therefore, there are 10 combinations of fruits in your salad. You can mix from 5 fruits given. Next, example number 2. So, how many 4 different colored marbles each can be picked from 10 marbles? Okay, so ano kaya ang n and ano ang r natin dito? So ang n natin is 10 kasi 10 marbles yung total objects number of objects natin. And yung kukunin lang natin is 4. 4 different colored mar marbles. So r is equal to 4. Substitute lang natin sa ating 
formula. So, yung n natin is 10 factorial over, okay, ito yung r, 4 factorial times the difference of 10 and 4 factorial. So, i-simplify lang natin ulit muna yung may parentheses. So, 10 minus 4 is 6 factorial. And then, ito na siya. So, 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. So, times 6 factorial. So, minto na lang ako sa 6 factorial. Siyempre, para uh, mas mapadali na lang. Dahil, meron naman tayong 6 factorial dito sa denominator. So, pwede natin yang ma-cancel na. And then, yung 4 factorial, wag natin kalimutan. So, kunin pa rin natin 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, 10 times 9 times 8 times 7, so that is equivalent to 5,040. Then, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, so that is equivalent to 24. And then, we can now divide 5,040 divided by 24. The answer is 210. So, therefore, there are 200 ways that the four different colored marbles can be picked from 10 marbles. So, kaya nakikita niyo parang katulad lang din siya ng permutations. Ang pinagkaiba ng permutations at combination, meron lang R factorial na nadagdag sa denominator. Okay, example number 3. So, how many combinations are possible from the letters S, M, I, L, E or smile if the letters are taken one at a time, two at a time, and five at a time? Paano naman to? Anong gagawin natin dito? So, mukha siya mahira pero madali lang din siya. Sige, so tignan natin. Unahin muna natin yung one at a time. So, pag one at a time, yung sin sinabi natin, syempre, ang N natin is five. Bakit naging 5 ang N? Kasi yung letter dito sa word na smile is 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Tapos, kukuha tayo 1 at a time. So, ibig sabihin, 1 at a time, yung, kukuni, yung R natin is 1. Okay? And then, substitute lang natin sa ating formula. 5 factorial over 1 factorial. And then, uh, the difference of 5 and 1 factorial. Okay, so 5 minus 1 is 4 factorial. So kahit na natin isulat itong 1 factorial. And then, ayan, so 5 times 4 factorial, min 2 na lang tayo dito sa 4 factorial, kasi meron din namang 4 factorial sa baba. So makakancel yan, therefore, ang ating magiging answer is 5 na lang. E paano kung 2 at a time? Ang n natin is equal to 5, at ang R naman natin is equal to 2. Again, katulad sa mga na una kong example, ang gagawin lang natin is substitute natin yung mga values ng N and R sa ating formula. So, 5 factorial over 2 factorial, then the difference of 5 and 2 factorial. Simplify. So, unahin lagi yung may parenthesis sa baba, 5 minus 2 is 3 factorial. Okay, then simplify. So, huminto na ako dito sa 3 factorial. Ano? 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. Kasi merong 3 factorial sa ibaba. So, makakancel na rin yan. Pwede makancel na lang siya. At matitira na lang 5 times 4. So, that is 20. Then, 2 times 1, that is 2. And isimplify natin, ang answer is 10. So, 10 ways kung 2 at a time yung uh, kukunin nating letters. Paano naman sa letter C? 5 at a time. So, ang N natin is 5. Ang R natin is also 5. So, paano yan? Substitute lang natin. 5 factorial over 5 factorial. Then, the difference of 5 minus 5. So, dito, magiging 0 na lang siya. So, magiging 5 factorial over 5 factorial na siya. Or simply, that is equivalent to 1. Okay? 5 factorial divided by 5 factorial is equivalent to 1. Hindi natin pwede sabihin 0, ha? Kasi baka sabihin nyo, ma'am, na-cancel na to. So, dapat 0. No. Pag kinancel natin yan, ibig sabihin nun, that is equivalent to 1. Hindi na lang natin sinusulat sa mga nauna kasi 
yung 1, pag minultiply mo lang din doon sa katabi niya, is katulad lang din doon sa katabi niya. Pero dito, uh, since wala nang ibang katabi, yung 5 factorial natin, isusulat natin 1. Okay? So, our answer here is 1. Okay? Or any number, pag dinibide mo sa same number, diba, ang sagot lagi ay 1. So, that is the reason why the answer here is 1. Okay. How about kung hahanapin naman natin yung R, then given yung N, and yung combination like this, 20. So, paano natin makukuha yung R? So, yun naman ang ituturo ko sa inyo sa susunod na video natin for today. So, nakita niyo na kung papaano natin sinusolve at ginagamit yung combinations. So, I hope na makatulong ang video na to para maintindihan mo yung lesson ninyo. Pero, marami pa examples sa module mo. Kaya, tingin ka ulit doon at basahin mo ulit yung mga examples para mas lalo ka pang matuto sa mathematics. And that's it. Dito matatapos yung video natin today. Huwag mong kalimutan i-share to sa iba para sila rin naman ay matuto sa mathematics. Okay, so see you again sa susunod and goodbye!